part of the vlog. It's not gonna be anything, and I'm not really gonna edit it unless I have like long pauses or something. Um, so right now I'm in the Walmart parking lot, and the reason why is because we're making chili. Well, I'm making chili tonight for dinner. Becky's gonna help me a little bit, and we forgot the ground turkey. <laughs> so we got home and we're like, crap. So she just went and ran in, and okay. So a little backstory. I feel like I need to actually share this because I need people to know that like mental things are it's scary. Like not being able to control like depression or schizophrenia. Like I don't have schizophrenia, but you know, being bipolar and it's just like all those things, like not being able to control your mind sometimes or your emotions or anything. It's one of the most scariest things in the world. And I was struggling really bad with depression months ago, and you guys remember that. Like I cried at the drop of a pen. Like I cried over everything. And I went through a time where I would cry literally in almost every single one of my videos, and like my depression was so bad that like it just constantly felt like someone was like someone I really loved just died and i had to mourn their death and it's just it's such a horrible darkly like, scary thing and i suffer from anxiety i used to have really bad panic attacks and it was like the worst ever when i lived in arizona like it was so bad like daily i would have like five and they were like so bad like part of my face would go numb my body would go numb and my jaw would clench and i'd be shivering and i'd have chest pain and i couldn't breathe it was just so scary and when i lived in virginia they totally went away it was crazy i lived very unhappily when i was in arizona so i think every day like my body and my mind knew that so in virginia i got better and then in Florida, I noticed that it was, you know, my depression was coming back, like, really bad. And Virginia, my depression never really, like, went away, but it wasn't as bad at all. And then, I feel like so much hate is gonna happen. I don't care, though. Like, I just feel like this needs to be known, and I don't know how long Becky's gonna be in there for, so let's just try to make this quick, because I just don't want her to feel bad. But, like, and in Florida, my depression was starting to get worse, and then when I came to Kentucky, it was, like, holy crap, horrid. Like, it just got way bad again. And so, as you guys know, I went to the doctor. I was terrified to go to the doctor. I used to take antidepressants when I was a teenager. Um... And I actually took my first antidepressants when I was 10 years old. 10 years old, like what is that? And um, I've taken my fair share of antidepressants, some work, some didn't. And so I went to the doctor here because my depression was just becoming so bad and my anxiety was bad. I wouldn't have panic attacks, but my anxiety was just like constant. So Will Beecher used to work for me when I was a teenager. So I recently went on Will Beecher and I noticed that it wasn't working for me. It was giving me just really bad anxiety and I was mad at everything. And so I got put on Lexapro and like Alexa Pro. Oh my god, this guy sounds so fucking dumb. Like, what am I doing right now? I've been on Lexa Pro for I think it's been almost three months now, and I have been taking it for a week. So let me tell you, being on Lexa Pro for the three months, I didn't cry. I never cried. Like I went from crying. 50 million times a day to never crying like I never cried and like things that normally would like upset me or hurt me like completely went away um I keep checking if Becky's coming and um like it just completely went away and I didn't feel like I didn't feel the depression and I didn't feel angry all the time and my emotions, oh my god, my emotions, you guys. For some reason, I just, I'm up and down, just constant. But when I was on Lexapro, I, I wasn't like that. I, I just, I wasn't. And I haven't taken it for a week. Because I felt like, yeah, Lexapro was making me numb. But is being numb normal? Like, should Lexapro not be making me numb? Like, I was completely numb. I wasn't ever having anxiety. I wasn't ever crying. Like, my weight didn't bother me. That's not normal. I'm over 500 pounds. Like, just ugh, Lexapro completely made me numb. But it also made it to where I was able to carry on, you know, somewhat of a normal life. Although it didn't fix, like, my motivation. Like, sometimes I didn't want to get out of bed. But still, I didn't have that depressed, like black fog hanging over me but then I realized you know wonder if I'm okay now I'm so stupid and I stopped taking my Lexapro a week ago and I just had a really bad anxiety attack really bad I've been snipping at Becky all day long and it's just over the dumbest things and it's like when I was on Lexapro this didn't happen to me I never got like this like I rarely was upset about anything like I literally was so numb it was crazy but it's like I, I question like was I numb or was I just like feeling normal I don't know it's so weird so I haven't taken the Lexapro for a week because I'm fucking an idiot I'm so mad at myself and so I just noticed that like I cried last night 
for the first time in so long and it's over I mean something did happen but it's like if I was on Lexapro but I would have cried and then today I had a panic attack and I've been crying and like I cried um over it was like a TV was I watching a TV show or a movie I don't remember but I cried like a few days ago over it and it's like on Lexapro I wouldn't do that you guys the panic attack I just went through honestly it was scary it was so scary and I'm just I just I don't want to feel this way I don't want to feel this way anymore so I it's like it sucks so bad but I'm gonna have to start taking the Lexapro again it's just I hate putting medicine into my body I, I don't like it and I just wish that I could be normal like I know a lot of people like relate to this and Becky's coming I know a lot of people can relate to this and I know they've been there like a lot of people struggle with mental problems but it's just like I don't want to have to be medicated to be normal and it's just not fair I don't want Becky to feel bad because I had the panic attack while she was in the car and I told her I was okay and I just don't want her to feel bad and I don't know I I just feel like it's so crazy to me Lexapro actually works it takes away your depression I'm talking to them about kind of what just happened who YouTube yeah. But it's just so crazy that, like, Lexapro actually truly does. Like, it worked for me. It took away my depression. I didn't cry. I didn't... I wasn't upset or mad or angry. And my... I'm so up and down with emotions. And I completely took that away. And now I just feel like I need to go back on it. What do you think? Uh-huh.